version. I think this is the one we are in. Okay, now let me explain what I saw here before on buying this market. Now, I want you to look at this levels. You see that price had um, a push here. Sorry. Price tapped here the first time, then tapped the second time. So what I do is when I see these two taps here, the first two taps, the next tap is where I'm trading. Okay. But now um, the market has not broken these levels yet. Let's say at the time that we are to take this dead trade here, the market has not broken yet. Meaning if we are trading here, we must have confirmation. So the reason is- you, Which point did you took the trade? Can you I'm, no, let me come. I'm coming to that. So we, we have these levels. So here now, we wait for an engulfing candle. When the market enters here, you wait for an engulfing candle to buy this market. So now when this market breaks, this is the apex. This is the A plus setup. These are the, a, these are the setups that you wait for like your entire week. <laughs> when you see mm. these particular setups here, these are, the, these, are, these are my favorite setups. I love these setups. When the market has these rejections, then breaks to the downside. The first tap, this is where I make most, you get, this is where I enter. So now this third tap here is where you look for maybe confirmation because you don't know if it's going to hold or just pass through. So now you go now on the two hour time frame, two time frame lower than the time frame that I trade on. So if I'm on the four hour time frame now, I'll go on the two hour and I'll wait for a two hour engulfing candle here before I sell this market. Mm. So you're selling so, the market. Okay, I see. So when the market now breaks up to the upside, sweeping these levels now, the first tap I take, second tap I confirm and I still take. Mm. So now when I came here for this, this trade that we took, I saw this low, I saw this low. So I aligned them together. That's how I came up with this trend line you see here. So mm. this trend line is as a result of these two lows here, rejecting putting us in a bullish market if you look at it here because these are two swing lows here yeah yeah so okay. current currently currently the current trend i'm looking that this market should continue up because we have a trend line we have another trend line and this trend line however aligns with support did, you didn't take the trade yet right i did i i called this trade i think i sent it out the uh, film should be in this trade as well i see yeah Okay. Yeah, it's currently in drawdown. It's currently in drawdown. So I'm looking that if this trend trend line holds, if it holds this key level here, then we should be able to push to the upside. However, if this trend line fails, then we have a good opportunity to sell to the downside because we have a key level and we also have a trend line that has been breached. And you know, when a trend line is breached, the market, you know, comes back to retest it. So if we have like a trend line like this and the market breaks up, mm -hmm. most of the time it's going to come back to that trend line in order to continue its bullish momentum. So we have like a trend line like this. So when this trend line breaks, it comes back for it. So that's exactly the idea behind this trade. If this trend line holds, if it holds, then we should be able to buy this thing to the upside. But if it fails and comes back for it, that is where we make all the money back. So... I think that was the most important lesson today. This, what you just said, all this, you know. Okay, now. This way, you know, once, once it breaks, it, it goes to the downside. I was waiting for this to go back to the upside, for example. And uh, you're trading, whatever, whenever it breaks, you're trading that. Yeah, so the, 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 the idea here or the take home lesson here is that if we have key levels like this, you know, the market does two things. It's either buying or selling. So if you've had like a trend line, it's either it respects that trend line or it breaks. If you have a key level, it either respects the key level or it breaks. So if you have this information, all you need to do is you, ex you eliminate fear. You risk exactly the same amounts that you would risk on every single trade that you take, no matter the setup. Now- okay. I can you see have... that it broke a little bit right there when you pointed. I see it broke a little. Does it matter to you or it doesn't matter to you? Where? It broke downside. Uh, okay. a little this, bit. Yeah, right there. 
Yeah. So if you look at it very well, my entry was before this trend line. So mm -hmm. this happened after we are already in the trade. I see. So, yes. yeah. So, okay, let me show you my two hour here and give you a reason why I entered this trade. Let me give you like my confirmation that I saw. So like I told you guys, I entered my trade on the two hour after what? A rejection like this one. I don't know if you can see it. I can see it. Yeah. Okay, good. So now if you look at it very well, you see that the week tapped on this trend line and it did not close. The, the low of the candle did not close out of this trend line. It closed back inside. It just rejected with the week. And when I see a long week like this, it tells me that well, the market is rejecting that area. So if I start feeling like, oh, this market is beginning to reject, then I want to get involved with this trade. So that's why when that two hour candle closed right there, I entered my positions. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, sounds good. So I didn't yeah. just like blindly buy here. I was waiting for a confirmation, some sort of confirmation. You can see here, let's say you're confirming this market here. When it's a good trade, it's a good trade, okay? It's not like when it's a bad trade, it is a bad trade. I don't care how many, you, no matter the confirmations you take, you will still take a loss. Now, we have a week like this one, piercing this level and rejecting another one, another one, another one. Then the moment now that we see a good candle like this one, rejecting on this two hour, this is where you enter. So now you enter here and it pushes up. And that as an example of a good trade. Mm -hmm. You see mm. here. Thank you. Yes, that's good. Yeah, you see here, this one too just went up. I was waiting for this one. This was the first trade I was waiting for before this one, but I didn't get what I wanted because the two hour candle was too long. I cannot enter all the way up here. It's too far from my zone. So I would not risk it. So basically, I see that um, on your trend line, you just took it as it touched the tre your trend line, and that's it. You didn't even, you didn't even, you know, wanted to kind of wait and see if it goes further down or anything like that. You just mechanically take it, right? Yeah, it depends. I mechanically took it because it aligns with my support, not because mm -hmm. it's just a trend line. If this support was not here, there's no way I'm trading this trend line. Right. right. I don't I don't trade trend lines. I use trend lines for, for buy for, for directional bias. I use trend line to just add to my confluence. Not I don't trade trend lines. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. Like, let's say we have a trend line like this. Let's just assume that this is my trend line. This one that I just drew here. I hope these lines are not overwhelming. No, 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 no. Okay, this, this one, this one, this, this dressing line that I just drew here, this one. If this price comes up the way to this uh, trend line here, I'm not selling here because there's no key level to support that. Okay. There's no key level to support that. So now the reason why I took this trade down here is because there's a support level here Important. that rejected yeah. price very well. So now it aligns with my trend line, giving me extra confidence. Mm -hmm. And more to that, this market has no direction. I mean, it has no uh, overall direction. It's sideways. Look at it. Yeah. It's sideways, meaning you, you you can buy, you can sell as long as you keep. You just need to get these levels out, you trade them. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. And at the cost of trading this particular price action, all of this, you will take losers and you will take winners. But now, the, 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 the thing that gives an edge to some traders over some is their ability to come back from losing streaks. Is their ability to hold positions as well. So if you have like a winning position here, you will not close it because it's blue and stuff. You just close it. If you close that, when the market will be in red or you're taking losses, now you're going to hold your losses all the way to the final TP, um, tear, stop loss. And now your losers now will be too big for your, take, for your winners to even cover them up. So now if we have a trade like this one, let's say we blindly buy here when the market is coming back, we take a loss. And the next time we sell, we are up because we took two R here and we lost one R. So we are up one R now. Then the second time we look for confirmation, we're up again. That's another two R plus the other one. Or that's three R. And let's say we blindly sell here and we lost again. So we've taken two losses, two wins, but we're still up two R. So that's how you make money. That's how you, you scale up. Yes. 
Yes, I see. And a uh, question, uh, what made you 